So the Mike Van Wick saga continues after he beat up poor little Jeff and Jeff had to go to the hospital. Now, I've talked about this. Woo! Yeah, baby! Before, I want to be very clear. Anything I say doesn't insinuate that I support either side and trying to remain neutral here. I don't agree with what Mike has done very clearly, and surprisingly, this has become a highly controversial topic between two different sides, either the ones that support Mike and think what he did was right, which is an odd take, and the ones who support Jeff. I think the Jeff group is more numerous than the, the Mike group, but it's really interesting that there's two groups in this demographic that have completely split over this topic. But it does seem that the law has finally picked a side. Body Builder Jeff Nippard attacked by fitness guru Mike Van Wick. Now he was charged with assault. As reported by TMZ, Holton Regional Police informed TMZ Sports that they did an investigation on the altercation at Pure Muscle and Fitness on Sunday and charged Van Wick with two counts of assault. Now initially there was only thought to be one account of assault, now there has been two. Here you can see a picture of the two of them at their respective shows and it really does show you just how different an enhanced versus non-enhanced athlete can look. Now, what really matters here is the type of assault that Mike is going to be charged with, because in Canada, there is variations of assault. There's level one, which is common assault, level two, which is assault causing bodily harm or assault with a weapon, and then level three, aggravated assault, which results in wounding, scarring, maiming, disfiguring, or endangering the life of a victim. There is a very good chance that he's going to get level two or level three assault just because of the location at which he assaulted Jeff at the neck and then pushing him into what could have been very dangerous objects behind Jeff. A lot of people have made statements saying that if this was the 1980s, this would never have been brought up and people are soft nowadays. To some extent, I agree for sure. There's definitely more soft individuals in the current environment, but I also think that is very clear what Mike did is not justifiable and he very clearly grabbed Jeff's neck as opposed to pushing him, for instance, on the chest. But let's just say that he was charged with basic assault, which we see here has a maximum sentence of five years. Now, this is the lightest form of penalty that he could get. If we look at aggravated assault, he could serve a maximum of 14 years, which is a significant penalty for somebody who just pushed a guy in the gym. It's really important is to define what assault is described as by the Canadian government. And it says common assault is found under section 265 one of criminal code and is the intentional use of force either directly or indirectly against another person without their consent, along with pushing, slapping, or punching, face-to-face -face verbal threats may also result in assault charges under Section 265.1b of the Criminal Code. So, very clearly, what was done, even if you think it wasn't assault and that people are soft, is described as assault by the Canadian government, and therefore charges are definitely a viable option for Jeff. The interesting thing is that this means, because it says up to five years, that the court has its own discretion to sentence the accuser to no jail time if they decide to. The alternative is that they could fine the individual, in this case, Mike Van Wick, with a certain amount. It seems that the commonality here is about $5,000 in which the proceeds would go to the victim. Now, let's just say that Jeff has some sort of concrete proof that he was seriously injured in this event. This could be classified as aggravated assault, which is found in 268 section one of the criminal code in Canada, which involves wounding, maiming, disfiguring, or endangering the life of a person during an assault. And the indictment here or the penalty is going to be based around the severity of the injury provided. It can be up to 14 years, but that doesn't mean it will be 14 years, but it is a serious offense depending on if he goes for aggravated assault. But even considering this, there is no shortage of people going to support Mike Van Wick. This is a person, IFBB Pro Mules, whoever this is. Uh, it is not a male. It is a female, just to be very clear. And she has this statement to say, which kind of aligns with what everyone else is saying, who is with Mike in this circumstance. This younger generation that doesn't remember prior to social media when if you had something to say you you said it to someone's face and then if that person was significantly bigger and stronger than you you might get your ass beat that that was a possibility and that was something that happened sometimes and now apparently we're all a bunch of pussy babies and we have never seen a man come at another man for something that they didn't like. Like, I know that everyone wants to hate on toxic masculinity, but like, that's just part of being a person, too. If you're a little guy, don't talk shit to a big guy. So obviously, super popular opinion there. 
if you talk shit to anyone who's bigger than you, you deserve to get your ass kicked, apparently, which is wild, just a wild take. But this is the general idea that a lot of people are preaching when they talk about being on Mike's side. And so Mike has took this and completely ran off with it. If we look, Mike has now started to produce his own product line based around this entire debacle that he's releasing November 1st. He's already dropped it, and very clearly he says, no content created against me shall prosper, with Kanye West's song flashing lights. <laughs> People posting on the stories all about, I'm with Mike. It's like a movement now. People are saying, I'm with Mike or I'm against Mike. It's like a whole political thing, which is, again, just crazy that this is happening. So look, it's obvious that there's a lot of contention around this and it's become so ubiquitous now. It's been reaching people who are doctors and psychologists talking about Mike's health and also Jeff's well-being in terms of possible injuries. It's kind of radical, actually, and it's something that I don't get to see often within the bodybuilding community. That differentiation outside of the fitness community into other communities pretty cool but also really weird that it takes someone getting choked to uh make this a big issue so look i don't really know what to think anymore i think what happened happened it is what it is it's in the dust i'm just making a video about it to update you guys because i think it's kind of my obligation at this point point. and i really do actually find a lot of interest in mike's character now and i do want to do a very thorough deep dive on his character so this is going to be something that i'm going to be taking a lot of time to do research and script so i can make a good video on who Mike exactly is, because I think this event has definitely caused a little bit of corruption within his character, or at least the view of his character, and the optics are now changed completely around him, and it has now become a political matter as opposed to just one person assaulting another person, which all of this is just so fascinating to me. But let me know what you think down in the comments below, I'm happy to hear it, and listen to what you have to say. I think it's awesome. One of my favorite things to do is, all, in all reality, I swear to God, go through the comments and read them and reply to you guys. So please, leave them a nice date me with your crazy comments. If you liked this video, subscribe. It does me a massive favor. It really does. And I would love, love, love if you would join my Discord group. It is a paid group and I'm very transparent about this. We do have a general section, which is completely free. But if you want to become a tier one member, it's only a very cheap $3 a month. And it does support this channel more than you could ever actually imagine. And it would help me tremendously make these videos on a constant basis for you, as well as it's not just a payment to me. You get a service out of it. My coaching, all the other coaches within the Discord group will help you as well.